Guys, hi and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey, hey. And behind the camera is my son Michael. Michael, say hi to everyone. Howdy, y'all. And as you can see this day, this afternoon, Teddy, come. Ginger, come. Here's my two little guys. Come here, mama. Hey, hey, hop up there. But I'm not going to touch him because we're jumping right into this right away. I got me some wheat bread yesterday. Let me show you. Here it is. Okay, so what I did was I took two slices put it in the toaster but only toasted them on one side so I press the bagel thing so what that means is is only one side of the toast is going to be toasted and the other one is not so right after I took it out I just put some butter in it you can see my butter right here and what we're making is a Dominican ham and cheese sandwich now these sandwiches they also uh Dominican style Dominican style you put ketchup in it but a lot of people don't like the ketchup you know so what you do is you toast it on one side, you put butter on it, you put your pan over there and put a little bit of olive oil. Oh yeah. Okay, do you want more ham, Michael? Like two pieces of ham? Oh yeah. Okay, so two pieces of ham here for Michael and his cheese. And then we're not gonna put the lettuce, not until later. I like lettuce and tomato in mine because the rest of the stuff that it needs is lettuce, tomato, and ketchup, okay? So what you do is the inside that you toast it, that's where you're gonna put your butter and you're gonna put your ham and uh, and your cheese. And you're gonna close it. That's minus, of course, the lettuce and tomato and ketchup. Michael doesn't like any of that. So he's not getting that. I put a little oh, I can have lettuce. Olive oil in there. I know, but the lettuce, I can't put it in not until it's done, the sand. Ah, uh, okay. You'll see. So what you're gonna do right now, I just put a little bit, brush a little bit of olive oil on my pan, it's hot. I'm gonna put it in like that. I'm gonna take this. You gotta lower it like I'm for it because you don't want your bread to um, to burn, you know, but you don't want it, you know, so you want it to cook slowly so it can be nice and brown just like the toasting. The reason we're doing this is so we're trying to melt the cheese a little bit in there. Not like melted, melted, melted like that, but a little bit melted and warm. And when you make this in your house, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna like let you guys go for a minute because I need this to get a little bit more thin. Let me go check first, guys, okay? Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, there you go, see? It's starting to get about on four in that way. Here you go. And when it's nice and brown, we're gonna come back like in 45 seconds, okay guys? So don't go away, stay tuned, and we'll be right back with another, with, uh, with uh, the continuance of the ham, ham and cheese, Dominican ham and cheese sandwich. That's right, we'll be right back. And as you can see the heat, I have it on four. So I think this is done. It's more or less you can smell it. You can smell like that bread getting toasted. So you see what I'm talking about? How the cheese is uh, almost melted, but it's not 100%. And look how pretty it is on that side. So what we're going to do now, okay? This is our ham and cheese, a Dominican ham and cheese sandwich. Minus the lettuce and the tomato, because Michael doesn't like it. I mean, minus, uh, I mean the tomato, Michael doesn't like it. But he wants a little piece of that lettuce, right, Mike? Oh, yeah. So what you do is... Definitely, we're gonna put this on the other side, on the opposite side of where the cheese is, like that. And mm. then we're gonna go like this, right in the middle, Man. like that, very delicately, because you don't want to break the bread. And if you go like that, like you're cutting in the air, like cutting hair in the air, and this is what you get, guys. And of course, the last thing that we didn't put on. So it's missing the tomato and a little bit of ketchup, but this is how a Dominican uh, ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, you can put a little ketchup in. You want? Look like you want it? Yeah. Yes. The ketchup gives it a kick, Mike. I told you that. So hold on, hold on, hold on. I got my ketchup right here. There you We're go. Using our organic ketchup, guys. It's the best. It's better because of all this stuff going up. Sorry. So what I do, I usually like, you know, squeeze a little bit. See? So you put a little bit exactly. Because that's what gives like gives it like a, a kick. A, it was makes the Dominican ham and cheese sandwich, you know. So that will be guys. That was Kobe cheese that we use, and then um, the ham was honey maple flavor ham. Okay, so honey maple flavor ham and Kobe cheese. And uh, the only thing that we're missing here is the uh, the tomato, actually, right, Michael? Oh, yeah. So that's how your uh, Dominican ham and cheese sandwich will look. I hope you enjoy. 
go ahead and make yours, you know, and take your time making it, and you will come up exactly like this one that I made. So thanks for watching. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. And today is Saturday. Remember, don't drink and drive. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, Michael.